Okay, so we have recruited a special guest. Hello, everybody. Introduce yourself. I am Tiff. We're in a special location. Okay. If you know where. If you know you if you know where <laughs> don't don't dox me i come here too often okay so we have the rest of the perfumes the recap is we look at the picture of the perfume bottle rate the bottle smell the perfume and then you rate it like s through f tier tobacco vanilla okay okay we're trying there's a photo of it here we're trying Tom Ford Tobacco Vanilla. We got a sample from Nordstrom. It's Tobacco Vanille. Okay, my issue with the Tom Ford bottles is they all also look the same. Mm -hmm. But the bottles are kind of like... The bottles are kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's not like Jo Malone where it's really boring looking. The Tom Ford ones yes, they look are. more like bold. You know? Okay, should I spray it? I feel like it's the male version of the Jo Malone bottles. Yeah. Yeah. Just spray? Yeah. Okay, let's taste test, smell test. Taste test. <laughs> Tobacco mm -hmm. I already smell, smell it. it. I smell it from over here. Yeah. Hi. Look at my zoom. Honestly, like vanilla. Actually, like, yeah, I'm, I'm glad really there's no tobacco. I think it smells more like cinnamony. Yeah, it smells good, but it seems like, um, dude, you're so right with the cinnamon because I feel like it smells like something that I would like during like winter, like, win yeah, yeah, like Christmas or December. Like, if I was wearing a scarf for some reason, mm -hmm. I would like the scent. It smells like the furniture section of Macy's, really, during Christmas, during Christmas. Yeah, it's just got like cinnamon, it's, and it's spice. giving like pine needle. It's pretty good, honestly. I think I would say maybe S tier, but like when it's the right occasion for it. Wow. It's pretty good though. I really like it. It also reminds me of Kohl's. I would give it a C. I think, what? I think <laughs> D for me because I would hate if a guy wore this. I hate the smell actually. Oh, I would hate if someone walked up to me smelling like this. I don't even want my apartment to smell like this. Yeah, I, I don't want to smell I like this. I think it's just like... Okay, I, I think it's a good smell if you have something that smells like it, but it's not overpowering and doesn't fill the room with the scent. Does that make sense? This one is very overpowering. It's like a scratch sure. and sniff smell. Like if you scratch and sniff one of those like... Oh my god, it literally... Like a gingerbread like... man? No, no, no. You know how it's like a like little sticker you'll scratch and like you yeah. sniff it? That's yeah. what it smells like. I, I don't... I... Wait, actually... Okay, now that I think of it, it smells like Bath & Body Works. Okay, maybe yeah. it's like B tier more so. Okay. I'm gonna change Pretty my good. answer to D tier. <laughs> I'm I'm a D D D B B. Okay. 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 Tobacco nice. Meal. Next is fucking fabulous. This one. Okay, this is also a Tom Ford. The bottle kind of looks the exact same. It does basically. It's just like silver it's and slightly of smaller, and I think the cap is bigger or something for some reason. Yeah, slightly more narrow but longer neck. I kind of like this one more. It smells more like sophisticated than the other one. I'm gonna have to change my answer for the first one to F. Wow. Wait, let me sell this one. Because if if we're working with these, like, I just, that's not my scent. Mommy sniff, sniffing the mic. It smells like laundry, kind of. It smells clean. I'm also like shocked because my impression was just that all the jade perfumes would smell really heavy and smoky after the first ones I tried. But there is lots of range actually. Like maybe out of the 15 perfumes jade has, like the cinnamon one is one to use like twice a year. Once I feel like, like yeah, I feel like the last couple that we've tried, at least like three or four of them were like, oh, it'd be good for like a specific occasion. So maybe yeah. that's why he has so many because he's like trying to get them for different moods and stuff like that too. This mm -hmm. is my take. Imagine you're hugging Jay, and then you smell this. Why are you Stop hugging thinking Jay? about <laughs> hugging Jay. <laughs> I'm triggered. <laughs> oh my, I'm allowed to do that. <laughs> don't worry. I don't like Jay. <laughs> but I'm saying, imagine you like, here, hug me. Hug me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I think... <laughs> I would actually give this a C. 
I think this is a B to me. I don't, maybe even an A? Did I rate anything I else like an B. A? It just doesn't smell like there's anything special about it. It's just like neutral to me. I think like B level is neutral. Yeah, that's true. I don't think I'd be like, wow, this smells so good. But yeah. I don't think it's like really offensive and I wouldn't be mad if someone like smelled like this basically. Yeah, not it would not. Smell. It would not change my opinion of a person. It smells like linen or something. I don't know. It smells really Someone clean. Someone like just like showered. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like the next, next one is Bamboo. Bamboo Harmony Perfume by Killian. I think we saw the other Killian bottles. I don't know why it's like very blue. I don't feel like I like the look of this bottle. Yeah, just... Mm, this one. You like this? No, uh, not bad. It smells clean and fresh. I feel like it's a little more, like, it's a little even lighter than the Tom Ford one. Like, that one is a little more, like, deeper or medium. This mm -hmm. one seems, like, more fresh. Mm -hmm. A. Really? Yeah. A. I don't want to say S yet, just in case. But I think maybe B also on this one. I feel like it smells like the cleaning detergent at Equinox. I, I yeah, it's like a nice like you can't like I feel like you can't go wrong. With like this. a little like, bit you can wear it anytime. A little bit like lemon zesty. Yeah. It's giving it's this. giving kind of cleaning cleaning scent to me. I like it though. I like it. I, I like would it. Say, like B plus tier. I don't think it's good enough for me to say A, but it's like better than average. Okay. Oh, we have different like preferences and smell. <laughs> That's yeah. Yeah. No. Everyone. Cause... Everyone does. I think. Yeah. Okay. Dark Lord. Dark Lord. This bottle looks the same as the other Killian bottle, but it's gray, which is slightly better, I guess. But the name is like very edgy for no reason. Yeah. Is it here? We already smelled it in the store. Oh, we already smelled it. Oh, then I don't need to review it. Dipti La Am Don Lo Eau de Parfum? Who speaks French? Did take long long oh, it tape on it. Low eau de parfum. <laughs> However, this is supposed to be. It nice. means it's just ombre and water. Diptyque bottle, same. I mean, all the diptyque bottles again kind of look the same. Yeah. I like it better than the Tom Ford. It does look more similar to like the Joe Malone because there's a lot of glass, but at least the shape is like kind of interesting. What do you think? I feel like the bottle looks more like this one. Hold on. Tom Ford bottle is horrible in my hold, opinion. Hold on, I don't even need to smell it. My nose is itchy. Bro, it, it reminds me like of a fruit. Something a, like a vegetable. It's, it reminds me of uh, bell peppers left out to rot. <gasps> oh my god. This exactly. is an S. She ate, she ate with that description. I it's, was about yeah. to sneeze. It smells like cut up like Yo, I'm not a fan peppers. of that one. I don't yeah. like that one. Okay, I, feel, I feel like this one can trigger your allergies if you're not careful. Yeah. Okay, I'm not a fan of that at all. It's Personally, F2. I don't hate it, but again... Like, I, I don't like... I don't think someone should wear that. I would give it a D. It's not as bad as some of the other ones we've smelled, mm -hmm. honestly. D. Ooh. It's not, like, the thing is, I like bell peppers, but it smells like bell peppers left it's out like, rot. It's like there's nothing in addition to the bell peppers. Yeah. It just smells like veggie. Yeah. What, what do you rate? I think F tier. Yeah. yeah I think me. the smoky ones are the worst, so I, I don't D. want to say this is F. Or Sauvage? Yeah, Dior Sauvage perfume. <laughs> okay. Dior <laughs> Sauvage basic male perfume, not gonna Wait, lie. did we already spray that one? No. Oh, okay. Why? Oh no, I was like, because I, I dropped on the floor. Um, the bottle for this one, I, I handled it in the store and I like that it has a magnetic cap. Mm hmm. Triggered. <laughs> I already know so many fuckboys who wear this. Yeah, I'm trying. I don't need to smell it. I don't need to- I already smell it. I, I already know. I had this conversation with Sanjim earlier when yeah. we were talking about my favorite scents. And I'm telling you, so many people I know who wear this, they're just- It this smells is, like stereotypical like male perfume. Like literally... if you don't know what to look for, you just get something that smells like this. Yeah, it's- I think it's the most basic perfume. I would say C tier just because it's like average. Yeah. Like, I, if I smell it, I'm not gonna be like, oh my god, you smell good, but I'm not gonna think, oh my god, you smell bad. I think kind of- I think I would actually say D because it annoys me. 
<laughs> you? <laughs> like, the scent itself is not that bad. It's a little, like, associations aside, it's okay, but, like, kind of overpowering. I'm gonna give it a D. D? Yeah. Okay. I, I would say C, but after that second whiff, I was like, I'm not even- I'm just full from food, and I already feel sick. <laughs> Out of this batch, I don't think we had too many good ones that we liked. I like the Killian one. Killian? This Killian. first one? Yeah. I feel like we had some that we liked. Can I smell the Killian one again? Just gotta protect the nostrils. Thank you. Okay, we, need, uh, we have- We have nothing. We have maybe one or two more that <sighs> we will try at home, but this is- Okay. This is the final round. Any conclusion, thoughts? I just needed- I just wanted to smell the Killian one after smelling the Dior Sauvage one so that I could leave on a high note. It's almost to it, you and I know. Be humble. Stay humble. Um, I think only significant note I have to add is that I'm glad Jay has a range of perfumes and he likes to smell cinnamony on some days or smoky and tobacco -y on some days or like a pile of clean laundry. I think it's pretty nice. Very tasteful of him. So true. Jay will never do anything wrong ever, and he's always correct. What if he wore the F tier one only when he saw you? I would just say, break up with me already. You don't have to do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, final segment. We will do the last stretch of perfumes. Shield of protection. Shield of protection. Okay, this looks exactly like the other Killian bottle, so. Yeah. I kind of, I like it. That's First of really all, I hard. like it, but I don't know. I'm like thinking really hard if I should put it like, like how much I like it. Like, is it S tier worthy or is it just A or B tier? But I do like it. It smells hella light. Like, I sprayed it three times on the paper too. Mm. I feel like to me this is a good blend between some of the more like nature inspired scents versus like the more sophisticated ones. I feel like it kind of has notes of both. It smells like clean laundry and like a leaf. Yeah, I like it. I like it too. It's not my favorite. I would say it's like B tier because maybe B plus tier. I think it's a little bit better than average. I feel like I'm gonna say A. Mm. A tier. Okay. Yeah. Enjoyed. Very good. Uh, Tom Ford Ombre Leather. Another boring Tom Ford bottle, though. It smells okay. I think it's a D to me based off the initial. I would say C. It's also just like the same as the last one where I don't smell any obvious notes. It just smells like light and fresh. Really? I think the opposite. It doesn't have light or fresh vibes to me whatsoever. Wow. This has like old person, library, cigar wow. club vibes to me. I don't smell that at all. The old okay. people vibes. <laughs> Maybe you guys should try this one on your own because it's also clearly controversial. Yeah. I don't think it smells like an old person. I feel, like it's, like... I feel like it's more like sophisticated old person type beat. Mm. It's like, okay. I would say C tier. It's like average. I also think C because I'm not like personally that into it, but you might be. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's not like bad smelling like some of the other ones mm -hmm. to me. Okay. It's just okay. Yeah, but I think it's less okay than the Killian Shield one. I can't- it's like hard to phrase why though. Maybe because there's no leaf note and I like the leaf note. Yeah. I like- I think both of us in general seem to like more like light or natural yeah. scents versus like, yeah. Okay, next one. The Diptyque one that you have. Wow, I actually have the bottle for this one. What are your thoughts on the bottle? 
Oh, thoughts on the bottle? So what's cute about the diptyque bottles is that all of them have this like shape and cap kind of. Some of the labels are like inverted black and white. But I feel like it's a pretty like sturdy in general um, perfume bottle. But what I don't like is the cap is it, it just doesn't feel like very satisfying. It's kind of like not plastic. It's not plastic and it's not metal. I don't know like what exactly. Yeah, like it's a little weird if you can go to the store and pick it up yourself. Like it feels like thick you'll, plastic. you'll know what I mean. Yeah, it's just kind of not like super satisfying versus what was the other bottle? Dude, the Sauvage bottle, the cap on the Sauvage bottle, highly satisfying. Like the magnetic one? Yeah, like this is not like that. But then the other thing about the Diptyque bottles that is cute is that like on the inside of the label, they have like different pictures. So this one, Tam Dao, is like, I don't know, an elephant in a jungle, which is like pretty adorable actually. Yeah, that's my review of the Diptyque bottle. What about you? I think it's cute. Um... I like it better than the other brands that have like standardized bottles like Jo Malone because it looks more unique or more like decorative and also I'm guessing like different scents have like different labels on it so it's yeah. not just like the same type of label. I like that. Also it's cute, it feels like a little like cough drop <laughs> or a big cough drop I guess but yeah I do wish like the cap was also like better because yeah, it doesn't- The cap like... is the weakness. Yeah, it feels like it's very protective though, like if you like turned it over it wouldn't like leak. Yeah. But also I saw in Jay's video, the what's in my bag video, he keeps it like in his like he carries like the full one. He carries the whole bottle with him because he pulled out the whole bottle from his bag. So I think I agree with your statement that the cap must be very protective. Yeah. And the bottle is like I mean, it's made out of glass, but it seems pretty thick and stuff, and like it won't shatter easily. So, mm -hmm. I guess this is a good uh, travel bottle if you're trying to travel with a whole bottle of perfume yeah. for whatever reason. Yeah. Okay, let's smell this one. It smells leafy, tobacco y. Dude, I would say like. C, D tier. <laughs> I really like this one because I like the nature vibe. I feel like it's not very heavy, but to me it's like nature-y, tobacco-y, or like woody, maybe is like more appropriate. It reminds me of, okay, in India there's this like root thing that you use to like clean your teeth. It's literally like tree bark and it's like, I don't know the English name, it's like called doctor. So like when you rub it on your teeth, it'll like make your gums turn orange, but your teeth, it like naturally whitens them if you use it more and more. But like it has such a rooty, like woody smell. It smells like, or it tastes like tree bark in your mouth. That's what this reminds me of. <laughs> okay. But this is less like strong. It's like a, a milder version of that. But yeah, I think it was slightly florally in addition to the woody stuff. I would like it more. This is just like. I don't like purely floral scents sometimes because they can be like too sweet. So I like, if you like more nature inspired scents that aren't sweet, I feel like this is a good one. Mm. To me, it's like an A tier. I think it's only not S, I mean obviously I like it a lot because I even like bought it, but I think it's not S tier to me, maybe because of the same reason that you can't wear it in every situation. Mm. Yeah. That's fair. And then I can give more in-depth notes on this because I actually own it. Um, for me personally, I feel like compared, I have a different diptyque one that I use like daily. I forgot what it's called though. I don't know. It's in my bathroom, whatever. Sorry about it. <laughs> yeah, so we can know the name. <laughs> um, but compared to my other diptyque perfume, I feel like Tam Dao like fades very quickly on me. For example, I use like one spray of the other one, which is called what? The Saint Germain. Wait. Oh, no. oh, 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 Capital. Capital. Yeah, so this is the other one I have. Oh, I didn't notice that like the, the color, color is different. different. Yeah, but when I use Oh Capital, I use like one spray and I can smell it on myself for like 
six hours like continuously but i used tanzal and then i spray like maybe two or three sprays and it only lasts on me for like three or four hours and then i feel like it disappears really quickly so i think the longevity of diptyque perfumes is like pretty variable but also this is like a totally different scent obviously so it might just be like different because of that you know mm -hmm. okay this is the end of all of the perfumes that are on the picture posted here um what do you think of jay's perfume collection as a whole there is a lot of diversity in scents um obviously we can't speak to how long lasting they are except for this one so it's like i guess hard to describe parts of this oh collection, that's also but... why i feel like he probably just carries that bottle because it like fades all yeah <laughs> Yes. There's like easier ways to transport perfume, like your own little like diffuser bottle. I just find it really funny that he carries a whole perfume bottle, like why? Maybe it was just for the video, but it's hard to tell. <laughs> he literally just chucks the entire thing into his pack. <laughs> but yeah, I think there's a lot of diversity, like there's lots of scents that I forgot their names, but there are some S and A tier scents for me, yes. and a handful of F. D tier sense. I'll probably make like a chart too for okay. both of us so I we can see. I think there's like a healthy distribution in terms of what I prefer in sense in Jay's collection. Mm. Yeah, I think to me I'm also surprised by like all the variety. I kind of assumed that like with one person's like perfume collection, like people are kind of drawn to the same sorts of things. So. I thought they would all be more similar but it was like shockingly very diverse and stuff and then i think he might also have a tendency to like get very situational perfumes because i think for a lot of them <clears throat> i was saying like this is like a pretty good scent but i couldn't wear it everywhere but i would wear it in this one in like these three situations where i was gonna do something specific so maybe that's also a reason why he has so many of them because like it's like, I don't know, being prepared for these specific things or something like that. Mm -hmm. But that's pretty fun. I feel like if you have the ability to own a lot of perfumes, like, yeah, why not do that? Yeah. Honestly, for the ones that are only in specific occasions, I would just get samples. <laughs> and yeah. use them in the specific occasion. But it's okay, Jay is rich. So true. <laughs> and he really likes perfumes in general, so mm -hmm. I guess, sure. Okay. That's it. It was pretty fun smelling different perfumes though. Cause I... It was fun. I would recommend that everyone go and try to get samples of perfumes because it is fun in general. You can get them at- we got a lot of these at Nordstrom and Bloomingdale's, but Bloomingdale's in New York where I am like doesn't really give samples that much, but I guess you had like pretty good luck in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Fun. It's a good thing to do if you have nothing else to do. Recommend. I recommend too. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, so true. Okay, see you next time. Bye!